on the edge of life and death. One action can determine which side you will fall on. In Hellish Quart, a one versus one sword fighting game, your life is nothing more than one hit from being taken away from you. Let's review why Hellish Quart works so well, how the game has this constant sense of tension and is more accessible than other fighting games. Hellish Quart prides itself in going back to the basics, to what it is like to fight with another man, without adding additional elements which gamify the experience. There are no special abilities or super move you can charge up. That has all been stripped away in favor of the simulation. The game doesn't need to include a health bar, because you can see how damaged your character is, if you haven't been fatally injured already, that is. Since everything revolves around mastering the basics, it is a much more immersive experience, in which you can concentrate on the action at hand. And the action is sharp and responsive, and most notably, thrilling because you and the opponent are so vulnerable everything you do or don't do has higher stakes to it because a single mistake can leave you bleeding on the ground victory and loss are so close to each other there's this constant tension which leads to a sensation of anticipation is your next strike going to land when it does there's this strong satisfaction of having overcome the 50 50 odds yet you're also relieved because you were so close to being pushed down the edge yourself. The reward for hitting your enemy? Blood and gore. Highlighting how fragile each of you are, and how real this simulation attempts to be. Fundamentally, Hellish Quartz simplifies the fighting. Mechanically, this is witnessed in the emphasis on distance and timing. The game is more accessible than other fighting games, because of the low skill ceiling required to be competitive. Instead of needing to know countless of combinations of button prompts with fast reactions and precise input, you only need to know a couple. The game can be instantly enjoyable, because the strategy and success of what you are doing is mostly based on your distance management, as well as your timing. How far away from the opponent are you going to be? How far can you strike? When is the most opportune time to strike? It is less about what buttons you press, and more about when you press the buttons. All the strategizing you need to outclass your opponent, it's right there in front of you in your screen. How is the opponent moving? Can you lure them into a false sense of security? Of course, there are still certain moves or abilities that require a bit more training to effectively apply. But this is there to provide depth to the system, giving you an opportunity to dive deeper and explore the possibilities, without disrupting the experience for new players. The moment I stepped foot in the world of Hellish Quart, I immediately felt empowered. I felt that I could beat anyone, regardless of my experience and mastery over the controls. But deep down I also knew that everyone else could beat me. If you are looking for a game in which you are constantly on guard, perhaps a bit stressed while you are playing, and want to have a good time together with your friends or try your luck in the competitive scene, I would highly recommend Hellish Quart. I am looking forward on how it is going to expand its world, its characters, its stages, and much, much more. I would love to hear what you are looking forward to in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching another video of Game Designer Plays. If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. I would highly appreciate that. And then I hope to see you back in my next video. See you there. Bye bye.